Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. As we have already updated that 12 Su-30 MKI which Indian Air Force is planning to procure is going to have advanced electronic warfare capability similar to EA-18G Growler of United States. However, in May this year it was reported that the deal for 12 Su-30 MKI was delayed due to Russia-Ukraine conflict. But as per the latest report, Air Force is going ahead with this deal. The existing fleet of Su-30 MKIs will also be integrated with electronic warfare components. Su-30 MKI overall is a very potent platform. It has 12 hard points where it can carry 8130 kg of payloads. It has a very powerful BARS PAS radar which sometimes can perform the role of a mini AVOX. Sukhoi has super maneuverability and diverse weapon package for air, ground, anti-ship roles and Brahmos is already a crown jewel in its feather. However, this platform can further be transformed into a dedicated electronic warfare aircraft that can be used for suppression of enemy air defense or seed missions. If the Su-30 MKIs need to be modified for electronic warfare role, it would need two jammer pods at wingtip, two high band jammer pods and one low band jammer pods similar to the configuration of EA-18G. It will also need an advanced radar warning receiver, SATCOM antenna and communication countermeasure set CCS antenna. Since it is an electronic warfare aircraft, it needs to carry an anti-radiation missile like Rudram-1 and optionally Astra Mark-1 for beyond visual range combat. The Su-30 MK fleet is also armed with Russian KS-31P anti-radiation missiles which can be used for sea drones. If we talk about the jamming pods, Su-30 MKI is operating Russian SAP-518 pods at wingtips which are extremely powerful but their weight reduces the payload capacity of Su-30 MKI's overall. Its primary mission is to jam advanced air defenses during ground attack missions, imitating electronic signatures of various aircraft while generating false targets within enemy sensors. The SAP-518 covers NATO surface-to-air and air-to-air -air threats in G to J bands and is deployed in two underwing or wingtip pods. Installed on a single aircraft along with SP 14 jamming pod, it is considered similar to the United States ALQ 99 jamming system installed on EA 6P Prowler and EA 18 G Prowler electronic attack aircraft. Su 30 MKI has also been spotted flying these two pods integrated and is already in the service by Indian Air Force. Now, DARE has also developed a high band jammer HBJ port for Su-30 MKI aircraft to be carried at the wingtips. HBJ can replace SAP-518 jamming ports in Su-30 MKIs. HBJ is also expected to have better integration with radar warning receiver on board the existing Su-30 MKIs and it is better than Russian SAP-518 ports. DARE has also started working on an advanced self-protection jammer or ASPJ port which will feature gallium nitride based solid state active electronically scanned array AESA jammer transmitter along with digital radio frequency memory DRFM. The DRFM jammers are known for severely degrading adversaries, radars and missile seekers. The ASPJ is going to be a single pod unlike HBJ which is dual pod. In summary, at wingtips, Su-30 MKI can carry SAP-518 to HBJ and in future it will be able to carry ASPJ as well. The Su-30 MKI is also operating Israeli Elta ELL-8222 airborne self-protection jammer on the underwing pylons and has been offered its advanced version wideband ELL-8222 WB ports. The Israeli port supplements the SAP-518 and SAP-14 ports. It confuses the incoming BVR missile by emitting a spectrum of electromagnetic waves which have almost a similar electromagnetic nature as that of target aircraft's radar, giving them false impression because of which missile lock breaks from the target aircraft. The pod contains an antenna on the forward and aft ends which receives the hostile radio frequency signal and after processing delivers multiple reflected responses after phased delays to confuse the enemy radar. It was due to this self-protection jammer that Su-30 MKIs could successfully evade multiple AMRAAM missiles fired by Pakistan F-16 after the Balakot strike. The Su-30 MKI 
are also performing strategic recon along the LSE and LOC using Israel's ELM-2060P SAR pod. These pods are field-proven, high-performance reconnaissance system designed for combat aircraft. The system consists of a detachable pod containing the synthetic aperture radar SAR with ground-moving target indication GMTI mounted externally on the combat aircraft. It also has a bi-directional data link and a ground exploitation station GES. The ELM-2060P produces images that approach photographic quality and operate as a true all-weather day and night sensor capable of penetrating cloud, rain, smoke, fog and smog. Now talking about radar warning receiver, DARE has further enhanced its RWR capability with the development of Dhruti which is a better digital RWR platform. Indian Air Force is planning to integrate all its 230 MKIs with Dhruti RWR. The project for the purchase of 125 DRWR118 has been planned by Air Force. Dhruti is a 6-channel RWR that not only offers a wide dynamic range and large bandwidth of detection but also offers good sensitivity, selectivity and wide instantaneous bandwidth. Dhruti even works fine with Russian SAP 500 jammers without causing any interference in its working. In summary, Su-30 MKI has all the components operational to act as a Desi Growler or as called by Malaysian Air Force Growler Ski. It can have SAP 518 or HBG at wing tips, SAP 14 at center pylon and Elta ELL 8222 under wing pylon. These jammers make the Su-30 MKI an Indian equivalent of the E-18 Growler Electronic Warfare aircraft, thus projecting the true multi-role capabilities of the platform. Equipped with anti-radiation missiles like Russian KH-31P and Rudram-1, in future, it will be able to perform the seed missions. This was today's update. Please let us know what is your views about these in comment section. Feel free to post your comments and suggestions about any topic related to defense sector on which you want to hear from us. With this, I would like to say goodbye and Jai Hind friends. Please like and subscribe our video if you have not done already. We will be soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in defense sector.